Hey guys, how's it going? Sofa Lockpicker here. In the video I have for you today, we're going to open up the Envo mask. This is a reusable N95 mask that you can still purchase. It's available to the general public, but it would be best if you reserved your purchases to healthcare workers or if someone's in a special circumstance and truly needs it. But what I'm going to do right now is open this box up, show you what it looks like in the side, and how we can assemble it together. So let's get started right now. All right, so let's open up the box and take a look. So when we first open up the box, the first thing we're going to see is a case, and then we're going to see the N95 filters. So when you order this, this does come with five filters, but you can buy replacement filters. You can buy a 10-pack for $25. So what's cool about these filters is what I've been told by people that have been using them at work is that each filter lasts you about three or four days before it feels a little bit clogged up, and then you need to change it. Essentially what you do is you just continue to wear the filter until you feel like it's a little bit harder to breathe through and then that's an indication that it's time to change. Once you open up the box, you're also going to see this really cool case that it comes with. So the mask is going to have its own custom container and when you open it up you're going to find the instruction manual, you're going to find the straps to hold the mask on, you're going to find the bottom piece of the mask which has the air gel which makes such a nice seal and it's so soft and I really can't wait for that because I'm starting to get a little pressure ulcer right on the bridge of my nose from using the traditional N95 masks. And then the, fir the front plate that's going to hold the filter in place. So when we open up this we're going to see we have our instruction manual. It's always a good thing to read through just to make sure that you're doing everything correctly. So what I'd like to do Today is we're going to install one of these filters. So I'm going to open this up and then we're going to place it inside the mask. One thing that's always good to do is just take a look in the instruction manual if you're not sure what to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've already opened up the individually wrapped filter and then I'm going to take the front of my mask. You're going to see on the front here it's going to say this side facing out. So we're going to place this right in here. We're going to make sure it fits nice and flush. Then we're going to have our mask over here and we're going to align this with the clasps that are going to hold it in place. So I'm going to just start to align everything. There's going to be a little hole where this one is going to be able to clip right in. So we're just going to line it right up and we're going to get the first one to clip right in as you heard there. We're going to clip the second one in as you heard there. Then we're going to clip the third one in right into place. And now you're going to have a perfectly secured filter. And now we're going to do the last step, which is going to be attaching the elastic bands to hold this onto your face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this just like this, and then we're going to feed it right through the bottom here. As we start to feed it through the bottom, we're going to start to have it attached. And then we're going to need to do this on the other side. So once we feed this through the other side, we will have our strap on and then we'll be ready to get this to finally attach to our face. And then we'll have a mask that is ready to be used. So how do we attach this to our face in a secured way? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have this back piece that's gonna go on the back of our neck. And then the way this is designed, this is supposed to go around the back of your ears, but one thing you can do is crisscross these, and then you can have them pull on the very top of your head. That way you'll get a tighter seal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to demonstrate that for you right now. All right, so how do you put on the Envo mask? So this is actually something that's pretty easy to do, but a lot of people do a modified way from what the manufacturer's instructions are. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the back piece, which we have right here, and you're going to put this around the back of your neck. Now, if you take a look at the manufacturer's instructions, they're going to recommend that you put it behind your ears, but for a lot of people, they don't get an adequate seal. So what you're going to do is you're just going to pull the mask up, which is really nice because you don't actually need to touch it. Then you're going to put it around the back of your head, and then you're just going to crisscross the wires. The next step you're going to want to do is just pull the back piece nice and taut so you can get a really nice seal. So when you take a look here, you're going to see how comfortable this mask is 
how nice of a seal it's going to make. And this is just a really great option for anyone in healthcare or anyone that's high risk that really would like to get an N95 mask. And when it comes time to take this mask off, it's actually quite easy as well. If you happen to have your safety goggles on because ocular protection is very important, you're going to want to take those off. Then you're just going to uncrisscross the top part on your head, and then you're going to be able to lower the mask down. This is really nice because you don't actually have to touch the mask. You can take it off, you can disinfect it, put it in one of your brown bags, whatever your facility protocols are, do some great hand hygiene, and you can move on. But either way, guys, I'm so happy to share with you this really great option, the Envo mask. It's a great, great N95 for people in the healthcare sector, especially if you're in a facility that's running out of N95 protection. But either way, guys, this is all that I have for you today. If you have any questions or suggestions, as always, please drop those in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking this out, and I hope you all have a great day, and I cannot wait to see you in the next video.